Um, okay. Hi. If I could explain to you what this next week is going to be within five seconds. We are going on our first family vacation in years because I guess we need to bond. Here we go. Did you tell me honestly if I was very excited? I see when I dream. Where do I move in this world? Could you please tell me what the hell I'm doing for? Bring me to my We are coming to you live from beautiful, stunning, amazing Palm Springs, California. Grandma. Yeah. Do you have anything you want to say to everyone? Just hi. Grandma, tell us. Huh? Don't you just hate it when people smell bad? Smell bad? Yeah, like when someone just comes up and they just kind of reek. <laughs> Don't you hate it? <laughs> yeah. I have something to tell you about. What? Native deodorant. Really? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> one of the most exciting things I brought with me on this vacation, the one, the only, native deodorant. I have three different scents. I have aloe and green tea. This one is the sensitive one. Pop it right open pamper my pits a little bit bop to the top very clean application you know when you put on a deodorant and it kind of just gets everywhere and then it gets all over your clothes <laughs> couldn't be me i also have eucalyptus and mint this one is giving me abercrombie man like the man in middle school that would walk into abercrombie and get drafted to work there he would be wearing this lilac and white tea let's get a live scent test from our studio audience I think it smells good. What is so special about this deodorant is the packaging, the product, 100% plastic free, fresh, clean ingredients, aluminum free, it is paraben free, it is vegan. Yeah. All those things. <laughs> All those things in this little package. Wow. Oh, and it's also cruelty free. It has a 24 hour odor proof and it even works great after you've worked out for a little bit. If you're a little sweaty. Where do you buy that? Well, now that you mention it, you can use the link in my description and my code is going to be Morgan's Vlogs, which will save you 33% on your first purchase of native deodorant. Also, you could get 20% off body wash. They have toothpaste, keep it fresh. Thank you so much to Native sponsoring this video. We are going to have a great time in Palm Springs and we are going to keep our pits smelling pretty. You are a crucial part of my um, experience. So I'll give this to you and you can try it out. Really? I love it. <laughs> We've been enjoying, oh my gosh. I look a little, hmm. getting everyone fresh out of bed. Oh, she doesn't want to talk. <laughs> We're going to a nice family, what time is it? Brunch. 11 a.m. 11 a.m. brunch. I have banned everyone from post mating because if we're here, I'm making everyone physically oh my go gosh. to the places. She makes us go to two meals out a day. Yeah, but if we post mated it, it'd be just as expensive. Well, there is a grocery store for breakfast. Oh, like you wanted to go to the grocery I, store. No, I, I eat oatmeal every day for breakfast. This is $2. You have not eaten that once since we've been here. Uh, I ate it this morning. Okay, well. You're the one that's like, we have to go, we have to go. And she gets all dressed fancy and I'm like oh because we're here we might as well go see the world explore how often do we get out of the house no, we're having fun and we're gonna go to a fancy cute cafe we're gonna Children, go to a stop fighting are we gonna get mimosas That is the one thing grandma cannot remember is that every time. One thing she can't remember, she still doesn't know that we film our lives five years into it. <laughs> That's true. No, cut back to her looking at me in the kitchen like I was gonna kill someone this morning. It is a if I mimosa. Was in a, I would have paid more attention. I always say if you're a narcissist, it's a mimosa. <laughs> Okay. Well, that's what you start calling it after you have one. <laughs> what are you trying to say? I'm just saying every time we get them, Morgan's like, I have my Mimo, so. Okay, none of us are great at pronunciation because I've been getting clocked for how I say roof. Now that is the that fanciest is looking avocado toast I've ever seen. What did you think of your sandwich? I thought it was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> He picks up grandma's food. Normally you just say like, thank you, okay, it was great. She goes, it was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. She's 
she's getting brutally honest with the age. Every time I see her, she's a little bit more honest with what she thinks and feels about everything. Yeah, I heard them out in the hot tub the other day, and they were talking about me, and my mom says, we love Morgan, and grandma says, we do. <laughs> We all just gotta let our bellies hang loose for a little bit. I thought now would be as good as time as ever to film a house tour while I'm already dressed, I'm already up, I just put my lipstick on. How did you get drunk, you may ask? I had four margaritas. One, two, four different flavors. Three, four. Did you have to give them the Oh my gosh, are you still there? <laughs> Who are you talking to? My friends. <laughs> I have so red. I have pillow top. Okay. Oh my gosh, stop falling over. I also have Kidman's kiss. What's pillow top? Oh yeah, gorgeous. This is family room. The living room is technically where you do the most lounging, but in my mind, living room sounds more fancy. It's like, oh, it's the living room. They have these paintings, which is honestly like when you like a shirt so much, you buy it in three colors. We still don't know exactly what this is. We think it might be either a, a lemon. No, it's not a lemon. There's no way you know that's a lemon. It's giving lemon energy. No, that's a grapefruit. It's definitely not a lemon. What about like a tangelo? Well, perfect segment. I'll bring you into the kitchen and we can cut it open and see what it is. This fridge is bougie AF. It is a sub-zero, I love it. So whoever owns this house is rich because they have a sub-zero fridge and it's a custom color. Rich. Well, here's all the things we bought. Look at this fancy contraption. They have a dishwasher, but the dishwasher comes in two separate drawers. So it's like this one is the top. This one is the bottom. Get this. They both work. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, we're going to figure out what this fruit is. Grand reveal. Grand reveal. Okay, it's definitely not a grapefruit. It's giving orange, but it might be a little too light to be an orange. It might be a tangelo, but I don't really know what that is and I don't want to claim that. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Sometimes I question like, is God real? And then I look at things like this and I'm like, what the f is that? And how did it get like that? You don't know. I don't know, you don't know. I guess maybe you do, but I don't. It's a absolutely beautiful, gorgeous, bodacious, and voluptuous backyard full of so many things. You can sit out here and chat, or if you're not in the mood to chat with your family, which is how I feel a very large portion of the time, you can sit here. I've had a few incidences this week because I've been swimming every day. If you didn't know this about me, I really like to swim. Like I am a pool bitch. I am a, I want to go swimming in the damn pool bitch. Like if you invite me to your pool, I'm coming. And not only am I coming, I'm not like one of those that sits outside of the pool and they're like, oh no, like I don't actually swim. I just kind of like sit here. No, I fucking swim. Like I'll bring goggles if you want me to. The whole place is filled with mysterious owls. This is my room. I'm calling it Blue Lagoon. Here's a tag that I ripped off my new shirt. Nordstrom Rack, best store ever, girls. Here's a bathroom. Okay, I'm gonna go like speed. This is his room. I don't really know what he's been doing in here. This bathroom has a urinal. I told you these people must be rich. See, I like this because you can slide this way without having to acknowledge the people in the living room. So I put my swimsuit on because I'm gonna go swimming because I'm a pool bitch and I love to swim. This is probably TMI and this is also my confessional to all of you is that I don't really know much about religion because my mom was baptized against her will as a Mormon, not by my grandma, by her babysitter, right? 
The babysitter took her to get baptized and my grandma didn't know about it. Sort of. But we didn't grow up as Mormons, so we've never really been into like any religion. I've been to Mormon church a few times because we're from Utah and I had some friends that were Mormon that would take me to the church and I was kind of like, you know what? Not judging, but this isn't for me, right? So I've been trying to figure out if we are religious at all because recently I've had a run with the religious crew. I am, but I don't go to any church. Right. I don't know what the whole point of this uh, talk was. Oh, that I have on my white shirt that's giving me like baptism vibes. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, I'm. That is too much for me to process right now, so I'm just gonna go swimming. Let's go through the pool. Look at them. They don't know we're here. Do you guys know what I learned when I was a lifeguard? When I worked at the Aurora Reservoir and I was a lifeguard, I, they always said that you aren't allowed to let people drink while they're swimming because if you drink while you're in a body of water, you get drunk way faster because your body's not absorbing the alcohol. I so, hot tubs. yeah, or like hot tubs, bathtubs. So me being really drunk, sh me getting in the water is like, lengthening my drunkness you know what i mean Love it here, Hummer. oh my gosh i forgot about you down there greg sits in here and then i he starts talking a little too manly and i just kind of <laughs> what are you drinking cold brew i haven't gotten everyone's vacation shot this is aunt Susie's vacation shot with my cold vacation brew shot. what's your review of palm springs it's lit <laughs> the boomers are out to play. <laughs> that was a great review. I want to move to Palm Springs. I know, I do too now. I'm in favor of that. Whenever you meet people like at a restaurant or something, they're like, oh, what do you do? I'm like, oh, I make YouTube videos. And they're like, about what? I'm like, moving. <laughs> your vacation shot, what are you up to? Just drinking coffee. What's your review of Palm Springs? 10 out of 10, vacation spot. Oh, he's he's coming to see me. Yeah, he did. He came to see Grandma. Did you see it? It knows me. What do you think of Palm Springs? Oh, I love it. Yes. Do you, what's your review of Palm Springs? Well, it's the best. I don't want to go home. Oh my god. Because gosh. it's really nice here. Not so close. Come on now. Back up. <laughs> up. So, I got a whole new Palm Springs wardrobe, and I thought I could show you all my Palm Springs wardrobe because some of the things I'm not so sure about, and I thought you could all give me ratings on my new outfits. My favorite thing to do right now when I go places is I always unpack because as a person that doesn't really have a home, it makes me feel like I have a home. I'm gonna pull just three because I don't want to overwhelm them. Maybe that guy. I already wore this pink, so we're not gonna do it again. I can't be a repeater the white is really cute huh uh-huh the theme of the first outfit i'm calling david's bridal because it's what i would wear to my bridal shower okay. i gave the top a 10 because it really is like business professional you could take off the blazer and you could really like start the party i'm deducting a point because the top two are a different shade of white than the skirt I was wondering if it was noticeable. <laughs> the shoes are nice. Appropriate to meet the family, but also get real drunk. It is serving like baby shower, bridal shower, realness. It's a little short. If you put a skirt on that matched the color and everything, 10. Oh, we have an eight from Kelly Clarkson. 8.5 from Ariana. <laughs> is that a 10? <laughs> You know what this outfit is telling me? That if I got pregnant, it would no longer be a scare that I'd be like, oh, gee, yay. That's yeah. the outfit. I don't think I've ever done an outfits video where we weren't joking and all the girls are always like, like they kind of like rub their legs, like. Hmm. 10. The only thing you need to do is press them. You're meeting your best friend and her child. Nine. Wow, he raised the price. Yes. Ten. Ten. Oh, you guys are just liars. Uh, I'm not lying. <laughs> They're not tens across the board. 
Well, well mine don't is. They look nice you're, but you're leaving no room to be further wowed. To me, this is a perfect outfit. Her, mom she, loves. It. I'm gonna tell you, mom likes this because my butt's covered. I think it's a great look, but my mouth could still be dropped with another. Uh, I think you could elevate it even more. Sweater is not makeup friendly. I don't really know what this one is called, so I guess you, it's up to interpretation. Okay, the dress is my favorite so far, but I don't know if I love the color combination, if I'm being honest. Same. <laughs> <laughs> the fabric just doesn't go with the leather. I should just serve us with another jacket. Okay, I think this is significantly better. Here we go. Now this is a summer outfit I can get behind. I'll give this one a 10 across the board. I think it's like- What? I thought this was the worst one. Well, I think it's like sensible for going out. You have the jacket for dinner. You get to the club, you take off the jacket. It's a good pop of color. It's the right amount of like appropriateness. So I'll give you a 10. This is the best one I've seen all day long. And then I don't, I don't like the coat, that coat with it either. It doesn't go at all. <laughs> <laughs> write your Here, score, Mom, write your score. Okay. 10, 10, 8. eight. So it's, it's pretty good for not liking the jacket at all. I know. It's, but your second outfit was your winner. <gasps> but I think Grandma was respectfully wrong. Going to the casino. Well, please tell me what the hell I'm doing for. We're losing. We're all leaving. Sad. We have had a spectacular time, but we must go home. Why? I don't really know. Bye, Tesla. Okay, so I'm back home. Let me sit you down. Gosh, this is not what I was intending to talk about. However, I'm just gonna tell you my story as fast as I can. So a few weeks ago, I was at Ryan's house and he was walking around with like one of these, but it was a respectable like fourth gallon, maybe a half gallon. So I go on Amazon. I'm kind of a dumbass. I didn't read the fine print. In the mail comes a ginormous whole ass gallon. I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna go through the whole phase of an Amazon return. So I'm just gonna deal with the whole ass gallon. Then I started drinking a whole ass gallon every single day. And it's sad, it's sad because I walk around with my gallon and then everyone makes fun of me and they're like, you look ridiculous with your gallon. Every time I walk past my grandma, she dies of laughter and she's like, you look like an idiot. And I just don't care because after I drink my gallon of water every single day, I feel so amazing. I can just see it now that there's gonna be people and they're gonna come on here and be like, um, you're gonna drown. And I'm like, you know what? You don't know how much water my body can handle. You don't know how much water my body can produce. That wasn't what I was gonna talk about. I just kind of got sidetracked. What I actually wanted to talk about because there were so many comments in my last vlog about it. Okay, first of all, disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. And if I was a doctor, I'd be screaming it to the rooftops. Hey, I'm smart enough to be a doctor. I'm not a doctor, so don't listen to me. Me? Medical? No. I made the executive decision that I'm gonna stop taking birth control just to see what happens to my brain and my body and my skin. I'm gonna give you updates as we go along. It is day 16, almost day 17. I have never felt better in my entire life, truly. I mean that with my heart and with my soul. And maybe this is temporary, like maybe it's a placebo effect that I'm convincing myself that I feel better because I wanna feel something. I feel as though all of my like chronic, chronic stress and my chronic, chronic anxiety and all the sad thoughts that I have throughout the day have just kind of vanished. I'm like, hi, good morning, nice to see you all, great day to be alive, happy fucking April, everyone. I don't know what's wrong with me. I guess nothing's wrong with me. Yeah, I just wanted to give you an update. Also, something that has really like ass fucked my brain. I'm I'm truly I'm being a hundred percent genuine when I say <laughs> that this specifically has ass fucked me in the brain hard. I got on birth control when I was 15 for acne. I stopped taking birth control <laughs> nine years later. I almost like want to cry because I feel catfished by a little packet of 28 pills. My skin has not been this clear since I was 15 years old. And now, I'm not gonna lie to you all, 
I am pissed off. One benefit, I never got pregnant because if I would have gotten pregnant with any of the ding-dongs that I've met in my life, oh my gosh, that would have been way worse than like the nine years of mental suffering. However, I'm in a place now where my standards are as high as the Empire State Building. So, I'm feeling very giddy right now. I'm feeling very happy right now. I feel like I am on cloud nine and I'm like, is this cloud nine or is this just how normal people feel on a normal day? 16 days isn't really long enough to give you a full analysis of how I feel on it versus how I feel off of it. So I'll give you another update, how my skin's doing, how my brain is doing, how my body is doing. And again, this is not me telling you that you should go get off your birth control. This is just me telling you how I feel because a lot of people are interested. And right now I feel pretty damn good. Also, okay, you wanna know another crazy thing? For the past ever of my life, every day at 3 p.m. I feel like I'm going to die if I don't take a nap. Like I'm so tired because I couldn't sleep all night. I'm in a cycle right now where I can sleep through the night completely and then for the whole day I'm awake and I don't have like that life or death need that I need to take a nap or I will die of tiredness. Like I can stay <laughs> awake through the entire day and be perfectly okay. There have been a few times where I've just like started crying. Like the other day I was driving and I saw a bunny and I started crying because I was like, does that bunny have a family at all? I guess that's really all the updates I have to share with you. I'm really excited because we're gonna start building a chicken coop at my house. A chicken coop for chickens. So I can save the homeless chickens. I hope you all are feeling great, feeling happy, feeling a zing in your life. A cheers and a kiss. Goodbye, my beautiful little friends. I love you so much. Never forget it, okay, bye.